Welcome to Clyde Health Medically Speaking. Each month, we'll explore a variety of topics to help you better understand certain medical conditions, treatment options. My guest today is Carol Horton, the Vice President of the Clyde Health Adult Hospital Foundation. Today, we'll be discussing the foundation and how it supports Clyde Health's vital services to the community. I'm Mike Hughes, and this is Medically Speaking. Carol, thanks for joining us today. Absolutely. Uh, tell us a little bit about the Kaleida Health Foundation and its mission and how it has been helping uh, the organization over the years. So it's really been the mission of the Kaleida Health Foundation to support the mission of Kaleida Health itself. So our values, our pillars, our community initiatives. And the way we do that primarily is through raising money. And we've been doing that for many, many years, and we hope to be doing it for many, many more years to come. Sure. So there's been some changes with the foundation over the past few years. In particular, within the past year, there was a separation of um, the, the Children's Hospital Foundation and then the Adult Hospital Foundation. Yeah. Can you tell us a little bit uh, more about that and why that change occurred? Yeah. So there's traditionally been a lot of focus on the Children's Foundation, which makes sense. Sure. Everyone loves to support sure. the children. And of course, with the beautiful new Oshai Children's Hospital, the um, capital campaign to raise that really got so much attention in the community, which was absolutely wonderful. Right, right. And of course, we can see the proof of that when we go downtown yeah, every day. Absolutely. Um, but there's a bunch of other hospitals in the area too, right. and a lot of other programs. So we decided in the past year or so that it was probably a good idea to really break it off. And actually, we have had two separate nonprofit centers for many, many years, but it's just that we've kind of marketed them. And from a PR standpoint, it's really just been one foundation. But we decided it might be a good idea to put a spotlight just on the adult hospitals. And so the Kaleida Health Adult Foundation, which my and my team are responsible for, uh, we help raise funds for Gates Vascular, for Buffalo General, for Millard Fillmore, for DeGraff, for High Point on Michigan, and also the Visiting Nurse Association. So it's a very far outreaching program. Sure. We have the whole eight counties of Western New York. So we like to think of this as very much a wide reaching foundation. Sure. And here on this show, we've had vascular surgeons, neurosurgeons, yeah. uh, cardiac surgeons. Uh, we've talked about the NICU, labor and delivery. Uh, why are those programs so important in Western New York? And then what is your role in the foundation's role in promoting them and maybe, maybe raising money and awareness for them? Yes. Well, sadly, of course, you and I would know nothing about this, but in Western New York, we do have a population that's getting a little bit more mature. Sure, sure. And um, heart health is very, very important to Western New York. Unfortunately, you know, we don't have the greatest numbers when it comes to that. Might have a little bit to do with uh, too many chicken wings, maybe. Sure. But we always need to improve our heart health in Western New York. And so that's one thing that there has been a lot of focus on. And of course, Gates Vascular is internationally known for having some of the right. best programs, some of the best physicians. We actually train physicians from all over the world on any given week, which is really uh, something to tout. So we want to keep that momentum going and get an even better. And there really needs to be no reason why people would need to go to Cleveland anymore or New York City or Rochester. We have some of the best services in the world right here. So part of the foundation's mission is to continue to raise funds to make sure that everyone knows that and to support those programs. That's great. So as part of um, your role in bringing uh, through a new team, you're looking at some new events for 2019. Yes, so Can you tell us are. a little bit more about that? Yeah, so most people probably already know about the Clyde Classic, which is our big golf event. That's yep. in July at sure. Wanaka. Um, and then the Clyde Ball, which we kind of rethemed a little bit last year into sort of a more casual event that's coming up in September. But this year we created something new that really specifically has a focus on cardiac health. And so we've partnered with the Buffalo Marathon and we've created the Heart to Heart Relay event. Right. So you can go to buffalomarathon.com and you can sign up. And what you can do is you can get three of your best buddies and you can divvy it up so you don't have to be a marathon runner. All so you have, have to, to do- run the whole 26 miles. Nope, you can do six miles or if you wanna be the finisher, you can do seven miles. So you get a team together, you register, and then we're gonna do what we call peer-to-peer -peer fundraising, which is basically you leverage your social networks and you go ahead and you evangelize it on Facebook and Twitter and all of your Instagram, and you try to raise money. And we're asking people to raise at least $1,000 per team, and it's all gonna go support our cardiac care programs. That's great, so it seems like you're modernizing, you're, you're trying some new ways to 
not only raise money, but maybe create some awareness for the hospitals and the programs? Absolutely, because events are wonderful and they're very important. And we love to celebrate our victories with those events. But really, you know, our health is about a healthy community. It's not just about particular events or any one particular population. So we want to make sure that we get everyone involved. And so even if you're not a runner, you can help support a runner. You can run in name of someone who has uh, had heart disease or or you can actually support someone who's had heart disease. So we're just trying to try to get at this in a lot of sure. different ways and have a little fun at the same time. Right. So, so talk a little bit about the foundation and your mission. Is it just about raising money? If I was um, you know, a former patient at one of the hospitals mm -hmm. um, and I don't have the means, but I want to do something to help the hospital or the foundation, what are some other things that I can do? Absolutely. It's not just about raising money. It's also about volunteerism. And you can call our office on any given day and find out different ways you can help. We are really trying to get more and more involved in the community. For instance, the foundation has also supported the city mission in Buffalo. We've also supported Kevin Guest House. We support programs that really support the community. So if there's any way that you'd like to give back, you can just call us sure. and we'll, we'll find something for you to work on. If it's sure. a Habitat for Humanity house or if you want to help uh, sell 50-50 tickets at a Bills game, right. we'll find a way for you to help us give right. back. Carol, thanks for joining me today. Lots of excitement at the foundation. We appreciate you having a good luck this year, Thank especially you. with the marathon. I know that's this, uh, this coming May. Yep, Memorial Day weekend. Great. Thanks for coming today. Good luck with that. Thanks, Mike. I'm Mike Hughes. Thanks for joining us on Medically Speaking. We'll see you next time.